Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you've enjoyed the last um, episodes showing the build up of this truck um, step by step. In this episode, we're going to be demonstrating what the multifunction unit does. In this one, it's got the multifunction 03 in it. Yes, it's the Euro one, but this is what I wanted in my truck. Um, so I'm going to go through what this box does here. And I'll zoom in a little bit. I've put a mirror over here so I don't have to mess about with picture in picture. So you can see what's happening with what I'm pressing on here. So with this uh, select switch in the upper position, if we turn the unit on, this is now in display mode. The radio is going to have no effect on this. This is why I've not switched the radio on. And this is basically the display mode. So if I just press the hazard winker switch, you're just going to get the turn signal hazard warning lights. And that's just on and off. If we press briefly once, we get stage one of lighting again. Press second time, we get the second stage of lighting which is the um, roof lights up top and the third one gives us all the lights on the truck front and rear and again for off so it's three stages of lighting which is one two and three and then the fourth time is off one two three off the other thing with this with it being in display mode we can press and hold the lighting switch for about one second and you get all the lights pulsing on and off slowly. If we press and hold again on the lighting switch, we get lights coming on in sequence. And again, if we press and hold for a third time, we have a faster flash. And the roof lights all flash at a uh, different rate. And everything else. It's quite good. I've done some Christmas videos um, of all my other trucks that uh, do this in display mode. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And then obviously a press and hold for a fourth time is obviously off. So you've got three stages of lighting as normal. And then you have three stages of display. That's one. And that's your second one. And the third one. And press and hold for a fourth time is off. And that's pretty much that. The radio itself is not switched on. Um, because it has absolutely no input. So what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to take this off of my um, rotating stand and I'm going to show you what the other two functions do. The reason being is, is because I'm going to put my axle stands underneath um, so it doesn't go flying off the table. I'll be right back. So this stage, we're going to go into the middle part of the select switch just here. And you should always turn your radio on first. And with this system, if there's no signal from the radio, let me just turn a little volume up, and you turn on the truck, That means there's no signal, so it won't start initiate the MFC until the signal is reached. Now I've set the fail safe on this system to neutral if there's no signal or signal is lost and not all radios support that so what they should do now 
it's 2021 but always be aware of um, of that with your system the spectrum system I know it very well so now we have this in the middle position transmitter switched on MFC is switched on I'm going to zoom out a little bit and there's nothing coming from it yet because we haven't started the engine so with the dual rate switch set to um, position off if we pull down very slightly on this stick nothing nothing happens again nothing that's cold cranking so if we pull all the way down it does actually start the engine so now push stick forward we have drive to the wheels we have steering we don't have indicators what we have to do with this if you look at this thumb if we tap down then we have indicators and if we tap down it cancels it takes a bit of getting used to and that's uh, and that's that if I push up slightly on this stick I get the main beam flashing if I go up sharply it gives me the um, the, the hooter so if I go up slowly I can have flights flash and the air horn as well so up sharply for the horn and just up slowly for the main beam and up slowly further gives you flash and the air horns as well so if I pull the dual rate switch down and I go up sharply I get the hazard warning lights which I've set this mirror up again um, so I don't have to do silly camera angles and then to cancel that just sharply tap that up and for the lights it's down once two three and off so simply one two three and off and then the rear lights also uh, respond the same as well um, whilst the dual rate switch is down if I tap this stick over this way that changes the sound to a horn we have in Europe two horn and um, we have a loud one for highways and we have the car horn um, for uh, built up areas or what I call it the city horn so we've got the and then we can and that is switchable in some of the Euro trucks so we don't want the loud air horns in towns yeah um, it's just one of them things and while the dual rate switch is down if we hold the stick or push the stick that way we get the silent flash on the indicators which then allows us to operate the fifth wheel over this way and then tap that back that way and it disables it simple I'm going to go into a little bit more detail of what does what um, because there's a lot more stuff such as engine shutdown if your engine's not running and you switch the lights on you get the lights on alarm and that won't stop until you turn the lights off right the other thing is um 
speed indicator mode whilst your engine is shut down you haven't got anything so to start the engine hold and tap down and then you have to start start the engine again that buzzing that you can hear is the fan that I've installed with the vibration motor I'll show you that in a second um, so speed indicator mode I go forward if I press this SP in roof which is speed indicator if I press that you can see that one roof light comes on to tell me that I'm in first gear and if I'm in a different gear they all come on first gear one light is on second gear two lights are on third gear all three lights are on and then they go off when the motor dies down and to switch that feature off we just do that but if you have your lights on speed indicator mode and um, the three middle lights don't come on unless you just tells you what gear it's in that's all let me just turn off my overhead light so I've killed, killed the lights, so I can then, there's first gear with just one speed indicator on. Second gear, two indicators on. And third gear, there's three indicator lights on. And that's as simple as that, turning that on and off. Going to turn this switch onto its lower lower mode lower uh, setting now you can hear that the engine shut down it's off but this is now in just silent silent mode the truck still works so you've just cut off the the speakers, the vibration function, and um, there's no lights. That just um, enables uh, all the servos to be operated without any other input. So yeah, that's uh, just a silent mode if, if that's what you want. Um, to turn the engine back on just put that into the middle engine start Right, I'm going to show you some steering endpoint uh, settings for the DX6. This should be the same for a lot of digital radios with the display. If you haven't got um, the display on um, your radio and you've just got the, the trims either side, you'll not have the endpoint adjustment um, features. So I'm going to go and get into that let me just go and flip everything up so we can see what's happening so okay um, we have made the modification to this steering so it turns tighter um, what you can see on the American style trucks is there's a big gap between the transmission and the 
axle because the steering link rod is mounted behind on the Euro trucks if you was to turn the axle around you'd have to get the um, Carson uh, crank steering rod so it clears the the bottom of the transmission I'm going to cover that in another video when I build the Euro truck that I've got on um, so endpoint adjustments basically I'm going to turn the truck on in uh, silent mode so we don't get everything and now my radio is um, on its normal screen and if I steer I can see that that's trying to overreach so I'm going to have to limit that and this side it's not going enough so I'm going to go into the settings and it's just servo setup and I scroll to, to um, travel and this is um, the endpoint adjustments some people call it EPA so if you see people that have written EPA that means endpoint adjustment uh, so I'm going to go across to um, aileron which because that's because it's an aero radio and then on this what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll this back to halfway 50% and I'm going to do the other side as well to about 50% and as you can see that's limiting how much steering I've got right so I want to be able to get this to do as much as possible so holding the stick across it highlights this bottom and it says 44 so then I can go ahead and increase get a grip, increase that until I see that I'm looking at the steering wheels until they reach their maximum just there so that's now at 83 any any more than that and it's it's just going to strain the servo so that's full lock in that direction and then I'm going to hold the stick this way and then I'm going to increase that value until it goes and that's that's there 123 in one direction and 83% in the other direction the differential there is if I take the servo horn off and move it around one spline these might be a little closer values but you know that's really not going to be detrimental to how this uh, truck uh, responds so go back to the main menu I can scroll this wheel across to see um, this channel here gives me full lock that way and 142% this way and that is all that channel does that really has improved the steering no end I think if um, you don't do that steering mod it comes to about there and we've got you know a few degrees more from that to that and this inside tyre is turned more inwards so it's it's correct um, Ackerman I think it's called yeah steering angle good uh, good thing um, and we also do the same with the um, transmission servo on top you have a, a clip up here and on the bottom you have a clip just under here um, I've gone and put my uh, gears on this stick here so I've got three speed transmission like this And that clunks in positively. I just find it easier to, to uh, put my uh, shift servo into the OGS1 port, which is channel 6 on the uh, Spectrum. Uh, on, on the Spectrum, I've got the option of um, looking at um, my travel 
I have the option of looking at uh, setting the, vo the voltage input on the um, receiver with voltage output and uh, just gives me a flight log which is not used on these trucks so yeah that's an um, endpoint adjustment or travel adjustment and it is as uh, simple as that not very complicated at all right I'm gonna uh, flip this over put it on the deck it's gonna face you guys I'm gonna go through uh, what the lights do facing you so what do the functions do transmitter on always a good habit to be in because if your transmitter doesn't have a fail safe and your receiver is not bound to fail safe you turn your truck on first that's going to go flying off in in the direction to the nearest concrete wall or somebody else's truck so always put your transmitter on first and then switch your mfc on after it's initialized dual rate switch I've chosen this switch here which is on my left thumb uh, start the engine first of all we can do a cold crank now can you see the fan in here that's the vibration motor that I have um, used as a fan I think that's pretty cool let me just get a flashlight just here turn that on well, there's the um, fan So if I start the engine by pulling it all the way down Anyway, enough of that um, tomfoolery. That's pretty cool, pretty quite good actually. So, anyway, let's start again. So, radio on. Turn your MFC on. After it's initialized, with your dual rate switch in the off position. Pull it down slightly. That's cold cranking. And if you just pull it all the way to the bottom, that gives you the engine start. Because without that, the model doesn't run, the motors don't work. And if I just push up slightly on this stick, I get the main beam flash. If I use this right stick and sharply press upwards, gives you the air horn. And if you push up slowly, it gives you the main beam and then... That's why I wanted the 03. The 01 doesn't do that. And that's what I want. So, if I tap down on this stick and turn the indicators come on and to cancel the indicator I just tap down and to switch the lights pull this down onto dual rate and there's your uh, dipped headlights the second set of lights then the third the driver kicks in and brings them up to brightness and then up 
turn the dual rate switch off. Yep, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I'm going to turn them off, dual rate switch down and off. For the indicators, sharp tap up. And sharp tap up to turn them off. So, on this truck, with it being the Euro uh, MFC, we have two types of hooter in this part of the world. We have the highway horn and we have the town built up area horn. So to enable that, we put the dual rate switch and we tap that to the left. And then that gives us town, urban um, horns. So to get back onto the air horn, tap that across. And that's simple. To enable the fifth wheel electric leg function, it's the dual rate switch in the down position and then tap that across the hazard warning lights here will flash silently and that gives us full control over the servo which is around the back controlling the fifth wheel and to disengage that function we just tap that across these flash just once and then we can turn the dual rate switch back off now we have a, a clutch on these so as you know we can drive forward but at the same time if we hold this stick down we can rev and the, the drive doesn't operate the motor doesn't uh, operate so if we hold this up and we can let the clutch up slowly to, to bring in the drive so it gives you a little bit better control over uh, reversing you can let the clutch up hold the stick halfway down on the throttle and then let the clutch up gives you more control the MFC 01 doesn't do that either the 03 has more functions because the the 01 was designed and released in 2003. The 03 version was improved for Euro trucks and that was released in um, 2013. So I prefer it. You can change the sound tone by changing the speaker, putting it under the hood putting it in the sleeper obviously the speaker box gives that tone a different thing um, so yeah that's pretty good so if I um, press the speed indicator button I've showed you this I'll show you again head on if you drive forward in first gear you get just the one light if you move over into second you get two move into third you get all three speed indicators speed indicators so if you put your um, lights on and only the two outer marker lights work that's probably because you've, you've got it in speed indicator mode and to get out of that just simply press that um, speed indicator uh, button and that just brings them all on ready for you to uh, just cycle through the lights it's not really that complicated it's when you start um i always flick that off as a habit and if you want to shut the engine down flick your dual rate switch on hold the, the left stick over to the right and tap down and now that obviously shut the engine off so even though the steering still works the motor does not and because I've set the fail safe if I switch this off soon as the signals lost this goes into fail safe which is neutral 
um, so you have to check the specifications of your your particular radio to make sure you know how to set the fail safe the some clubs want you to uh, verify that you've got your fail safes set uh, before you are allowed to run and that allows you to just go ahead and uh, go and socialize a little bit um, and then when you come back you switch your radio on and again nothing's happening until you switch your, your dual rate switch down hold this to the right and Still nothing on this stick until you start the engine. You can shut the engine off on the MFC01, but you haven't got the engine start option. Also, if I wanted to leave this running like this, and I wanted to switch to a different model, to bring it over I could very easily go and fetch my snowman truck so if I switch model the signal to this one is going to be lost but because it's in fail safe it will fail safe to neutral so this engine is still running I can go ahead and drive my next truck put that next to it and this will absolutely nothing's going to happen with this until I go back on to this model select here and as soon as this light comes back on that means it's reconnected and yeah I do like these there are good cheaper budget radios they're not going to give you all the features that this has got because this is the high end of the market um, the, the whole feel of them is more comfortable I think you know you've got hold of a radio and not just some uh, cheaper budget radio so yeah that's um, that's it so to shut the engine down lights on alarm lights on so you have to switch them off and that's it you can switch off and switch off switch your model off first then your radio because as I say on the other radios might not have fail safe set or if you don't don't know now if I switch this model on because it's a spectrum radio I know that if I power this up it's not going to have a signal so it's not going to initiate the MFC until I establish a signal and it is just a case of enjoying your trucks simple as that. If you need to know anything else, leave a comment. Um, if you want me to show you something else, you know, just let me know and I'll try and cover um, all I can. Um, so yeah, let me uh, just show you the inside of there. don't know if you can see it inside is all lit up with a single LED so if you wanted to look inside that okay. that my friends is Sonny Pruitt moving on 10-4 Next video will be uh, the trailer. I'll be fitting the trailer 
uh, light set which is very very easy I'll be doing a small modification turning the orange indicators into red and I'm going to just quickly show you how um, I've moved the axles backwards on that 40 foot um, dry freight van trailer just to give it that little bit of an American feel um, yeah I've not put mud flaps on that yet and I think I'll do that um, at a later date so yeah thanks for watching everybody uh, check out my past videos see where we've done the improvements modifications on this one and I'll see you on the next project until then bye for now